，刚做的时候都是全部用手切的，欸、不是电动的，那是用手。手KFC sponsored by KFC. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My favorite feature of this entire board: integrated Bluetooth speakers. KCB is a dual layer, real light and backlight, and a fuse. Oh, a fuse. Duty cycle buzzer. Yes. Just like the GT. Massive BMS. BMS. Made this sensor pad himself. Flashing brake lights. Cooling fan in. I tore the whole here. He never rode a. Future motion board. Yes. Ever. There's a gasket around here. Not a single drop. Nothing. That's good. Spencer, play your most favorite Taiwanese song. Setting up. By the way, do you have any board experience? Like, did you ride anything other than one wheel? I like surfing, but snowboarding. Yes. Taitong is a good, good wave. Snowboarding in Japan? In Japan, yeah. yeah. All your board passion into this. Let's break it down. <laughs> All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Max. This is my friend Spencer. This video is going to be a super exciting one today. DIY creator of his entire board. And we got so much to talk about. But first of all, we're in uh, KFC. <laughs> if you guys ever come to Taiwan, the most amazing chicken, even better than American KFC, they have this green chili flavored uh, chicken with with an egg tart dessert, oh, just to die for. So come to Taiwan, have a lot of fun, amazing food. Now, Spencer, thank you so much for being a part of this. Hello, my name is Spencer. I'm, may I speak Chinese? Chinese? Yes, okay. Okay. yes. Niho. 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 <laughs> so he's going to speak Chinese. It's more um, comfortable for yes. him, and I'll provide the subtitles below. He's actually very, very good with English. So much to talk about. Let's get into it. Spencer, in my opinion, actually, it's a fact. He is top five DIY hardware creator in the world for a one wheel board. And I can only think of two other people, and that is uh, Veed. VX Wheel, Fungineers, Dado Vista as well. In terms of electronics, every single part, component of the board, nothing with future motion. He is a rare breed. Drop in the comments below if you can think of anybody else besides them. But I came to Taiwan to see my mom and he lives only within 20, 25 minutes from me. So super blessed. He let me borrow this for my entire trip. Thank you for lending me your board. But let's talk about some of the great features of this board. It's gonna be the pros some of the areas of improvement and future features down the road. PCB is self-made and sourced. PCB is an all dual layer, not full layer. Dual layer. Dual layer, yes. It's com combined with Bluetooth. Bluetooth module. Yeah. And uh, light Bluetooth. can com control light. Real light and uh, big light. Bluetooth is. Which is module. Yeah. Yes. And uh, buzzer. Buzzer. Yes. Duty cycle buzzer. Yes. Just like the GT. And uh, this, this connector is a fan. Fan control. The controller fan. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yes. And the uh, button is the D, D to D converter. And. Uh, and, uh, yes, and this is MOSFET. 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 Yeah. Wow. Heatsink. Yeah. Heatsink, yes. This is a very substantial heatsink. It is uh, very dense and heavy. That's good. So no concerns about overheating, right? Mm -hmm. These are capacitors? or? Yes, yes. And a fuse. Oh, fuse as well. Wow. 
amazing. Okay. He made this sensor pad himself, uh, but you can see when it's powered on, it flashes back and forth of battery percentage and voltage, so you get both data metrics, which is super useful while you're riding. You don't have to check your phone, uh, you don't have to look anywhere else on the board except right, you just look down and you know exactly where you're at. So very, very helpful. My favorite feature of this entire board <laughs> is the speakers. Yes. Integrated Bluetooth speakers with bass. with bass. We're talking bass. Check this out. Bass speakers in here while you ride. Play whatever you want, blast your music. Um, such a small thing, but once you get used to it, you have to use it everywhere you ride. I play music everywhere I go now. Uh, I was playing a podcast the other day, yes. listening to my podcast, and I was uh, learning about psychedelics. Learning psychedelics while I'm riding, people are learning with me. <laughs> so just absolutely amazing, love the speakers. Speakers take up this space, right? Yes. And you can see that there's still so much more space to add additional things and features, yes. which we'll talk about later. DC buzzer we talked about. Oh, another great thing, flashing brake lights back here. By the way, this has lights, headlights and tail lights on both yes. ends, which is very rare for a best DIY board. Where is the light on here? The light. Here. Light connector is light. here. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Super nice. So light connector, and then when you break, when you are leaning back to slow down, the tail lights blink. They flash, yes. Yes. which is amazingly useful because when you're riding with somebody and they're in front of you, sometimes they stop. You don't really get that sense of distance until you're about to crash into them. So I found it extremely useful when I rode with other. Um, of your best boards that I see the flashing light to slow down. Uh, front light always light, fresh. Always depends on the speed. Oh, yes. Didn't know that. Okay. So depending on the speed, the front light flashes. Yes. That lets other people know or lets you know. Other people know. In, maybe in in rider in the front, 就是前面的人会看到你。I'm always wondering why it flashes sometimes, but now that makes sense. So it's like these features are not available, obviously, on Future Motion. Such great ideas just coming from this brilliant engineer in Taiwan. <laughs> My neighbor. Go Taiwan! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I love that feature as well. The last thing is the cooling fan. He has a cooling fan in the controller. Small cooling fan. Yeah. Yes. So it's like a CPU. CPU. CPU, just like a CPU yeah. fan. I draw the hole here in the, in the inside. In the oh, there's a hole here, and the fan is here. So you say it's not really necessary, but it's nice to have, right? Yeah, definitely don't have to worry about overheating of the control. This battery, you create the battery, created the battery yourself too? Yes. How did you, so you do everything, you do the soldering, the welding? Yes. yes. Oh. 16S? Yeah. 16S, 67 volts, 67.3, Yes, like that. yes. It has a BMS. Oh yes, BMS. BMS in here, and you created the BMS. Yeah. Is there a brand, or you just? You don't want to talk about BMS. Passive BMS. Passive BMS. BMS. Not active. Okay. So it will be the. It will be the performance. It is to use the BMS. So its purpose is to make the Mm. It's very, yes, it's very safe. Um, it warned me uh, twice already when I was charging the battery. You could see that it was not reaching, I think it stopped at 80%. Mm -hmm. And even though I left it plugged in all night, so he instantly knew that uh, the BMS was preventing further char overcharging. Right? So very, very safe. But it was annoying that I had to bring it back to him to fix, but of course, safety is priority, and this is what we've been missing in VESC is the BMS is the most important thing. We haven't found the BMS. When the BMS is damaged, it's not 
电池不会因为电力去短路，然后那个电池烧起来，它把它 cut cut off， yeah, 对 ，cut off， 对 ，before。The safety of this is great. We're still looking for active balancing with BMS, obviously, but I think we'll get there eventually. It's so funny. Spencer said, "Here, you can use my vest. Break it. Do whatever you want. Don't worry. It's easy to fix." And that was so inspiring because it's like, "All right, no worries." Also, you can just open the controller and the foot pad by just taking this off. Here's a gasket around here. I rode this in the pouring rain um, the other night for like two hours, and uh, didn't do it on purpose, but got hot in the rain. And I opened up both of these because all you have to do is open up both sides. And I wanted to check for water damage. Not a single drop. Nothing. That's good. Yeah, really good. This gasket here, this gasket popped open the front foot pad and the bad back pad. This gasket's around, sealed it completely, and not a single drop was inside. So those are all the amazing features. So promising, a lot of innovation. How about like some areas of improvement on the front sensor pad? Um, I found that it got a little bit sticky sometimes, and it would uh, ghost yes. a little bit. But we did some uh, settings changes with the fault and the timing, and that resolved it. And also the uh, ADC volts down a little bit lower. I think 1.5, 1.2 was the sweet spot, and then it didn't ghost after that. When I rode it in the rain, there was no damage. But ADC. Yeah. Well, the with this sensor pad, if you step on it long enough, it, there is a cut. Here, so there was some water got into here and actually did not let ADC, the foot that yeah. ADC yeah. short shorted it because the water was going to yeah. yeah. So I had to uh, hold, I had to activate it with my finger and then jump on the board, and then it was okay. But it would uh, disengage like every ten minutes or so. Uh, let it dry out the, the next day, improved a lot, but it's still having some issues. That's the great thing about testing, is that now he knows to improve the uh, surface grip tape. You're going to do the same thing as this, right? Yes, yes. The traction pad. Put that over here, that's going to help it. Uh, more durability and no water uh, entry into here. Great idea and area of improvement on the front sensor pad. The motor is a uh, pretty cheap motor from China. So it, I found it overheated quite quickly, and it also isn't as high rated for amps. PCB only 110 or 120 max. Maximum current is limited to around 120, yes. right? Maximum. Yes. So that could be an area of improvement um, to have better uh, material. We need, we need to check the thermal. Oh, thermal. Yes. Ah, okay. Maybe can upper. Upgrade later, yeah. yep, yeah. for sure. It's super hard in Taiwan to find spare parts. Yes. Uh, there's no Craigslist, there's no one-wheel marketplace uh, that's convenient in Taiwan. There is a one-wheel Facebook group, but it's pr relatively small. So very difficult to find rails, motor, can't even find... It's a little XR motor, right? So I'm coming back in March. If he hasn't found an uh, XR motor, I'm going to bring XR motor back. Spencer here and help him upgrade this bad boy. The rails, the rails you cut. Yes, when I was doing it, it was all with hand cut. Design, design, CAD, and then I gave it to the manufacturer, design it, and then I gave it to the manufacturer. At first, it was all with hand cut, with hand cut. Is it saw? Yeah, saw and drill. Not even an uh, electronic, not a machine. No, I so. <laughs> <laughs> DIY, dude. Yeah. This guy is a badass. A caveman. <laughs> caveman, you know caveman? Caveman. Can you do that? Oh, caveman. Yeah, yeah. Create fire. Yeah. Cut wood. <laughs> yes. It's very, very impressive. He just needs better parts. 
better. Like some things he doesn't have to. If he, if he can just get rails, even just XR rails, right? Um, the XR motor, that would be improvement. Or maybe one day the uh, Fungineers motor. Yes. Maybe one day down the road, yeah. get float life rails or aftermarket. You get um, Fungineers or something else in the future. Different motor, more power. Yeah, that's all I can think of. Again, all of these areas of improvement are, is like what I said. It can just get only get better. Um, I'm in love. I mean, just this handle. This handle is amazing. Like, you just lift it up. It's so comfortable. It's way better than the pint handle. Okay. There's some different. There's a front handle as well. Um, they can't even do that for the pint front handle. Kind of. And also, if you have uh, plastic bumpers for protection, not the metal ones. The metal, no. yeah, the metal, yeah, just for a little feedback. Metal float plates on here, but I, twice, I hit the float plates front and back, and it kind of ripped it out. Mm. So I told them to do plastic, yes. it will be better, and you can slide and maybe do some tricks one day. So, last category, future projects. So I think, you and you just saw my... I will, I will combine all the D to D to T. Mm -hmm. This this ball and this ball combine all in one. Okay. So this is a D to D converter, and this is a Bluetooth speaker module. Mm -hmm. And I will combine all the ball to one. To one? Yeah. Where separate? Oh no! All together. All in together. One. Wow! So is it gonna be one bigger? One PCB. Yes. It'll be how much bigger you think? Bigger. Mm -hmm. Oh, double. Oh, this, 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 yeah, you yeah. say put a ba external battery so you yeah. can plug in your yeah. phone. <laughs> Maybe. Options are limitless. Amazing. Engine sound. Oh yeah, engine sound. He has an amazing feature uh, where he puts an engine revving sound, like a scooter, gas-powered scooter. Put your foot on the front sensor pad, it revs up. Yes. Engine, yeah. And it feels, it actually feels like a gas powered vehicle, which is pretty cool. <laughs> DIY, baby! But also, when you back up, there's a reverse beep, 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 beep yeah. like a, a tractor or a warehouse vehicle. <laughs> so <laughs> amazing, man! I love it. Making people feel confused was a really cool feature. So. That's it folks. So I just wanted to share this amazing person with you guys. He doesn't make videos. He's not about uh, social media, Instagram, YouTube. He just loves doing this for fun. Yes. Yes. And he has so much passion. Yes. I just really appreciate somebody like him creating something, um, making things better each time. So I hope you guys uh, will consider checking out Spencer Vest Discord chat. So look him up. Just Spencer Chen or you can just tell them my Zhang Li. So yeah, he's very open to talk and chat. His English is fantastic. Uh, so don't let him fool you. He's just a little shy. He doesn't want to speak. But everything, every time I talk to him, it's all in English. Perfect. Perfect. Get him up. If you have any ideas, uh, go go chat with him and any features you think of, he'll probably make it uh, come true, yes. so come through life. So I think that's it. Um, thank you.
thank you for coming out. I appreciate you. And on my next trip to Taiwan, I can't wait to see uh, how this develops. Yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, drop some comments, ask some questions. Maybe Spencer will be in the comments uh, thread as well. Yeah. Everybody tell uh, Spencer to hurry up and come to Cali because uh, we need to rip with him. <laughs> Tune in for the next video. Thank you for watching. And we will catch you guys later. Bye from Taiwan. Yeah. Ottala. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna miss this board when I go back to America. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the speakers the most. <laughs> One time he was going over a bump and the first prototypes of his PCB just exploded. Yes. And did you fall? No, sorry, I fell. Okay. Okay, he was fine. You have to have best instincts. Be ready to jump. <laughs> Part of the process of being a VESC pioneer is you have to take sacrifice of time, energy, uh, your sacrifice your body. Look. Didn't cover uh, your your background. Like, how did you how did you have so much talent and ability to to create all this? Can you? I was doing AC to DC power converter. The some hardware development, debug. Wow. So you know, okay. you know software, it's about software. Software will probably know a little bit. It will have some related training. Vesk的相差不多一样的东西，对。Cool，是怎么开始的？怎么找？就是Vesk，我已经有在玩了一阵子，然后因为有一个朋友，他说：“哎，你在玩Vesk，那为什么不把它拿来做弯位的独轮车
is he only go straight? <laughs>